Welcome back Bertini fam. For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Michael Bertini and this is my 2020 Harley Davidson Streetlight Special. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This way you can get in on all of my weekly cash giveaways and stay up to date with all of my new content. Now on today's video, I'm gonna be either removing this horn altogether because I don't like the look of where it sits, I want a clean engine look, or I'm gonna be putting it on the front of my motorcycle. I'll show you guys where you can relocate it to if you guys are interested in relocating the horn, meaning you still wanna keep the function of the horn, but you don't want it in this spot, right? You want that much cleaner look to where the, um, the engine jugs, you can see them uh, more clearly and there's nothing in the way. I know it sounds silly, but to some of us, we like that look. Now, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of you who have concerns for safety reasons, especially if you're not living in the US and you're living in a country where horns are used like all the time. So like India, as an example, or the Philippines, right? Where horns are constantly used. This is not the case here where I'm at in Florida. Um, in Florida, it's kind of like a, like if you beep at somebody, people get really pissed off. I don't typically ever beep anyways, like I said, and that's even in a car, I don't beep. Um, but let alone on a motorcycle, it's not something that I've done, so it's not something that I really need myself. Some of you guys might be saying, well, that's just like having a firearm though. I mean, in all the years of carrying, have you ever used a firearm, right? Or how many people actually use a firearm um, when they're carrying? You, it's more of an insurance policy, if you will, right? You have it, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And I understand those sentiments. That's, that's a valid concern. That's an option that you're gonna have to make as a writer, whether you wanna do this or not, I haven't decided yet where I, whether I'm removing it altogether or if I'm gonna move it and relocate it to another place. We'll see how it looks together. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it and see how we go ahead and remove this horn and if we're going to relocate it or not. Okay, now first things first, let's go ahead and remove this nut. This is a half inch, by the way. Let me just show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly in the camera, that's a half inch that I'm using and I am using an extension, not that you have to use an extension. One thing really important, if you plan on putting this thing back, make sure you do it to torque specs, because if not, this horn is gonna sound really funky. So you do not wanna over tighten this if you're planning on putting this horn back. So if you take it off and you don't like the look, make sure that you torque it down to the proper specs and not over tighten it, because if you do, it is gonna sound like complete shit. Okay, so now if you see here, you have your positive and your negative. Um, it's as easy as removing it now if this is where you wanna go. So you just pull off. You should probably be using, which I could have used, um, a pair of needle nose pliers to just pull these things off right here, right? And you're gonna to wanna to run that around and that's it. Now you have your horn off. I'm probably gonna get the weight on this just to see how heavy this is. It actually is pretty heavy. Once again, not that it really matters. Weight is not a thing in this scenario, but um, we'll just see what it's like. Now, we need to get off this bracket that you see right here. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna remove these two nuts right here. I'm using a 14 to do it. And second bolt removed. Then you could simply wiggle out this bracket. Keep in mind, there's gonna be a clip here that you have to pry away from this bracket here. So you're gonna push this clip in to get this bracket off. 
Now let's say you wanted to relocate the horn from this area that you had right here, right? So this is where it was, you wanna relocate it. You would be re re relocating it to right here. This, this mount right here is where you can relocate your horn to. Here, let me show you from the front of the bike where it would be at. This is where you'd be putting the relocated horn. So what we would do is we would remove it from this, this piece right here. We would be removing it out of this piece and putting it on here. I'm not gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in order to get these wires out of the way and stay clean so that no liquids get on them or it doesn't mess up anything. And then also how we're gonna modify this bracket because we still wanna use this bracket, we just no longer need this whole thing on here anymore. So I'm gonna show you what I do with that. Okay, one thing that I should have noted from the very beginning, make sure you pull out the fuse, um, the main fuse for the bike from the fuse box before doing this, or make sure you um, untether the battery, un unplug the battery from the bike before doing this. Because this next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut this off, this piece off right here, um, just because I am that sure that I'm not putting back on this horn. And so I am gonna be removing uh, this piece right here from the bike. Um, and then I'm going to um, put some uh, shrink tubing around it and clean it up and then zip tie it under here. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to completely shorten them just in case if I ever do end up selling this bike, if the next owner wants to put these back on, I'm gonna leave it as an option for them. Um, so I'm not gonna cut the whole thing down, but I'm just gonna cut enough to where I can get shrink tubing on here and get this cleaned up. Now I just wanna show you, you're not gonna need to, a bunch of shrink tubing for this. One piece will be enough um, to cut into smaller pieces and you'll see why, what I'm gonna do here in a second to close these off. Now you're gonna wanna leave, I know it might be a little bit difficult to see, you're gonna wanna leave a little bit at the end just so it melts over the head. Kind of like that, if you guys can see that here. So there's a little bit left over the head. Now, if you have a heat gun, you can use a heat gun. I'm not using mine because I don't feel like taking it out right now. Now, what I've done here is I'm bending this back Right, so these cables back, and I'm taking three eighths shrink tubing, and I'm gonna slip it over the two of these, right? And I haven't cut this yet to length, which I'm gonna do here in a second, so I'm gonna trim off a bit of this. Now, we'll take this, make sure the wires are nice there. And we're gonna cover this whole thing like that. So that's what it should look like. Perfect, now we are completely sealed up. So now we need to tuck this away and zip tie it. Okay, let me show you where I pulled this cable through. So now I'm on the other side of the bike. I pulled it right from under there. It's really difficult to see, but I pulled it from under there, under the tank, over to the other side, and then now I'm gonna wrap it around here and zip tie it. So it's gonna be wrapped around here and then zip tied. I got it zip tied, I know it's kind of difficult to see, but I got it zip tied right over here. I'm gonna cut this off so that there's no, nothing sharp over here. This isn't just sticking out like it is right now in the tank. And then we'll go ahead and get that bracket modified. Okay, now to modify the bracket, I'm gonna be using a Dremel tool. This is the Dremel 4000 and a cut and wheel. Then I'll sand it down and get some paint on here until I could get it over to powder coating. One thing to notice to make sure that you're wearing mask protection when doing this, you don't want any of these metal particles going into your lungs and into your body.
Okay, now I got the bracket um, finished off here. It's nice and smooth and leveled. Now what I'm gonna do is, well first, you wanna use some simple green and you wanna degrease this part. Then you're gonna wanna tape it off and then spray over here. I'm using some VHT high temperature engine enamel. This is gonna be good stuff, enough stuff to um, keep the paint from melting on you. You do not wanna use just regular paint. This is going on the engine. And so you do wanna use something that it's going to be able to last through the test of time. So I would highly recommend using this VHT high temperature engine enamel. I'm going with a matte black. Um, this is something that I already had uh, in my garage. And so that's what I'm gonna go with. Obviously you can use any sort of engine enamel that is high temperature. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this taped up and paint it off. Okay, so the bracket is all done being painted. I think it came out really good. I think it looks really nice. It looks OEM, which is crazy. I mean, obviously it's OEM, but you know what I mean. The cut, the paint, it came out really good. Now, this is the side that used to face forward, right? So this is the side that I cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reverse this and go this way with it, um, just because this is obviously the factory paint and so I just think it looks a little bit nicer and so I'm gonna fit it this way. So I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Look, just so you guys can see the fitment on there, it is really clean. It looks good. Look at this, let me show you guys. Wow, it looks so much nicer without that horn box there. And in the future, if I ever want to, like I said, put it up and relocate it to the front, I can do so. Um, but I'm gonna go without it, it looks good. I'm happy with the way it looks. And like I said, I don't really use that functionality. I'll show you guys from a few angles here. Um, I don't really use that functionality, so it's not that big of a, of a deal to me. Um, never have, never will. I could just simply uh, hold my clutch in and drive my throttle back and it'll scare the shit out of anybody. So not too worried about, about the horn, but I think it came out good. I'm sure if you guys are checking out this video, it's because you guys are thinking about doing the same thing on your bike. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. Now, just in case some of you guys are wondering how much weight we saved off by removing all of these parts, let's go ahead and take a look. Not that it really matters. Look, I'm gonna even throw these little clips in here. Add to it. Okay, so we saved one pound, nine ounces, roughly. Let's see how many grams that is, 727 grams. Not that this matters. I'm assuming <laughs> if you guys are removing this for weight savings, I think it might be a little silly, but I mean, to each his own. But yeah, that's how much it weighs. So you're saving about um, a pound, a little over a pound and a half. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. This way you can get in on all of my weekly cash giveaways and you can stay up to date with all of my content that I'm putting out there. Make sure you guys are putting good energy out there into the world and paying it forward. I'll check you guys out later. Bye now. Man, it is really hot.